Hey everybody, it's KiloCon. Time for the KiloCon TV. Now, I personally can't hear myself, but I don't know why. I should be able to hear myself, you would think, right? It claims that I should be able to. <laughs> I probably should also set correctly. Maybe uh, pop up my mic a little bit more while I'm this far away. Okay, I don't know how this looks, how this sounds. Um, I also thought I was saying something. Anyways, so, yeah, uh, kind of a new setup here. I, at the moment, I don't have um, everything done yet, but I have a good amount. Hopefully that background music's not too loud. Barely registers for me, but if I turn it down, I, can't, I don't know why. I can't, oh, I, I can't hear my monitor because I don't have a monitor. Where's my... Goodness gracious, hold on one second. Why don't I hear my mic? I cannot hear my mic at all, so I can't tell you if it's a good judgment call or not. Hold on. Test, test, test. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that helps to actually be able to actually hear what's going on. I don't know what I was doing. Oh, okay. Okay, that's better, I guess. Okay, that was weird. Um, okay, so... Uh, da, 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 da. What, what, what was that control I did? I did something to help it. I don't know what it was. Ooh. Oh, stereo. Nice. Okay, so anyways... Anyways, uh, so yeah, this is KiloCon. And we're live. And to me, that sounds so too loud. So we'll bring it down a little bit. Okay, there we go. So here you're ready. We <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh... Yeah, that echo is real. I'm going to have to... Oh, son of a gun. I made my wife sad. Please tell me. Yes, uh, actually, this is a new setup. Uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, hey, Redneck2007, how are you doing? We'll actually go to desktop look here. Uh, this is um, a complete kind of odd setup here. First off, I'm not done. So I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Not done yet. Uh, I have a... Um, the mixer's here. Actually, you know what? It'd probably be easier if I use the handheld uh, to kind of explain. So I got the handheld here, and actually I will show you what it looks like. So uh, we'll start off with... Why is that upside down? Oh, because it's upside down. Duh. Let's zoom in. Come on. Find your targets. There you go. So, uh, yeah, as you can see here, it's still kind of a mess at the moment, but... We're going to try really hard to make sure it looks a little bit better. Uh, yeah, and there's some sodas and the crushed ones. But, uh, yeah, you can kind of see everything that's going on here. Uh, the idea, as you can see, this is the desktop camera that goes down. I also have lights going on here, uh, all attached to this, uh, this setup here. And the, the idea, again, is to uh, be as compact as possible and... Uh, kind of do what I need to do. Uh, let's go back to here. Here, it does look like a fire hazard. You are absolutely correct. It's not. Uh, I used to do professional uh, setups for radio stations. This is not akin to a radio station setup. This is pretty normal. Uh, this is not a final state. I'll be honest with you. Uh, it will be worked on a bit more to ensure. Uh, that uh, everything's kind of tied and wired correctly. Uh, the rig that I'm using is an i7 uh, that is uh, running all the wonderful stuff. I honestly, uh, I think it's a 32 gig. It's uh, one of the newest video cards. That rig's a while. This setup here is more of the desk setup situation that we have here, which is using the new Logitech uh, 922. Uh, I'm using the Euphoria breakout box for USB. I'm using uh, the uh, Behringer. Oh, crap. This is a Zenny 1002. Uh, sure, if you want to show me a PC case you want, that's fine. Um, I don't know if the bot will let you do links, but more power to you. So, yeah, uh, a couple of things that uh, I'm trying to achieve is obviously... Uh, just a better setup for uh, for this year, as well as working on 
uh, just things that I can do that I feel like I can improve. And I should be not leaning like that. I should be actually just looking this way. Yeah, the thing is, is trying to make sure the mic's in a proper position without getting all that high. Because I feel like I'm high at the moment. So let me turn down my highs a little bit and maybe make it a little bit better. Uh, da, 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 da. Task, 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 task. Oh, that's a little better. Okay, good. Uh, so yes, um, yeah. Uh, let's take a look at that. Nice. Good window. I like the green tint on that. It's a cool little uh, uh, setup there. Let's take a look at mine. I'll, I'll show you mine quickly. It's dusty as hell. Not going to lie. So let me go back to handheld for a second here. I'll show you. This is mine. Uh, it needs to be cleaned. It's nothing spectacular, I'll be honest. Even the lights in the front, I turned them off because they'll be bright as hell. We look at Sasaya's over here. Okay, there it is. Those are all the lights that usually come on that. So mine's a little bit different. I just, you know, I don't like to be bugged. So yeah. That is a phenomenal case. 72 pounds is huge for a case, dude. Uh, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's crazy. I'll be honest with you. Uh, by the way, uh, let me know how everything sounds as far as uh, music levels, mic levels, everything else. I'm really curious. Uh, there's definitely things that we want to talk about. Let's go back to the main camera at the moment. I'm looking at the wrong place. I should be looking over here, not at myself over there. Uh, tempered glass in that case? That's nuts. That is some hefty, uh, hefty machinery right there. Oh. Uh, so anyways, uh... This is a test. I'll be honest with you. This is uh, this is the first setup of the uh, first dramatic setup of what I'm doing, uh, starting with the new interludes and uh, the new TV. Has been something that's been in the works for a while. Uh, the green screen, which I didn't have a chance to set up because I've been running late, uh, getting this ready to go, uh, is also part of that as well. So I move around the breakout box. And uh, what I need to do is I need to work on this a little bit more. I got some more parts coming uh, to help uh, with uh, some more of the pieces. That's a nice setup, dude. Seriously. Uh, okay, so uh, let's see. Few things we want to talk about. Uh, I know we talked about this last night, but uh, I do, as I hit my mic, retread on some water here. Uh, let's see, Pack South is coming up. Booth 10091. Uh, so if you are a uh, person going to Pack South, we definitely want to see you. Would love to see you, in fact. Uh, come and stop by. We'll be there all three days. Uh, we'll be there with uh, a few other people. I know Stack Up's going to be there as well, as well as Giant Gamers. who will be helping us out the entire weekend, so we would love to see you. Oh, let's see. Uh, okay, so that's number one. And, of course, that's for One Up on Cancer, so uh, we would love to uh, get you to also volunteer if you have the time and ability to spend some time with us. We're cool like that. So that's number one. Number two, I wanted to talk about uh, this setup, which I think we already did, I guess. Um, I mean, going back, uh, I guess I can I can rant about this setup for a second more. Uh, obviously, not everything is proper place. Uh, the idea is, again, for us to be able to uh, do what we need to do in uh, the good amount of space that we have. We don't have a lot on this desk, unfortunately. And uh, that's the key. So we're going to go and we'll do what we can. Uh, hmm. Anyways, so sorry. I was just kind of uh, taking a look there quickly. Uh, so, okay. So uh, this mixer. Want to take a look at that quickly? Nice thing about this, I really don't need the keyboard at the moment. Oh, this mixer. It's a nice mixer. Actually, this mixer is only $100. Uh, 
Uh, it's really good. It allows you to do a uh, quarter inch uh, mic. Uh, the quarter inch are great for, obviously, I'm using it to uh, plug in from uh, my audio source. I got plenty of those, actually. Uh, the goal is to uh, be able to bring in people live, uh, bring in telephone calls. Because uh, it allows me to have multiple mics, so uh, I would love to do that. Uh, I really don't need a mic, I guess, uh, for the telephone. But I like bringing telephone calls, be able to uh, do those live, uh, as well as Skype and everything else. You, you, you know what I'm saying, you know? Just do some uh, good, uh, good in and outs. Also, uh, bring in more sources, because I do have three more stereo decks as well to do some mixing. And I have to say, $700 for a case is expensive. Oh my goodness, I don't need that much, thank goodness. Uh, that's nuts though. So uh, so anyways, uh, working my years in radio, mind you, I got an old, uh, uh, an old iPod here that I was testing with, as you can see. So I, I can actually move the stuff away. And while I'm doing that, you know what? Let's let's take it, show you this. In my years of radio, I have uh, <laughs> obtained a good amount of different bits and bobs, which I think is really cool. Um, not straws, though. Straws are not so cool. Okay. We'll throw those here at the moment. Uh, so, I mean, like, this is XLR to one quarter. Uh, XLR. XLR to RCA. I mean, this is some crazy stuff. Like, who would who would really use those? Uh, I use a lot of these, though. So, I mean, honestly, that's the reason why I have those. Um, those are very useful when you have older mixers that uh, don't allow you to uh, do anything but XLR. Uh, I also, at one point, had the opposites. Uh, but I can't find them. So, it looks like either A, they were stolen, or B, uh, lost through time. But that's fine. Hey, Tova, what's going on? So, um... Oh, well, that's nice for you. Uh, it is wonderful to uh, not have to worry about bills, and you can put everything into your rig. Uh, at one point in my life, I was able to do that, uh, but uh, now we're saving for a house and everything, and it brings things, you know, to a screeching halt, so everything's done on cheap at the moment. Uh, so, um, so yeah, uh, more gadgets and gadgets and whatnot. What's really funny is, uh, I spent like an hour looking for, uh, the proper plugs to broadcast with. Uh, in fact, that's why I came in here. Because I'm going to, uh, look for the proper. So, I could not find an XLR cord to save my life. And when XLR is this right here so this is uh obviously the um i guess you call it female end or and actually this is male end because it has the stickers female ends the other side this is the male end uh now i don't know where it's at that's the problem uh and so i had to go and get an xlr cable and unfortunately uh the closest ones were uh, like 17, 18 bucks. So that's that. So I'm actually looking for some more RCA jacks. Because, uh, I inadvertently grabbed the stereo RCA jacks. Which, uh, for some reason, this, this mixer does not like. So I have to grab mono RCA jacks. There we are. There's two monos. And, uh, a quick curious question, if you are curious... What's the difference between stereo and mono? mono? Tip ring sleeve, except tip sleeve. So sleeve is this big thing here. Tip, this here is the ring. So this means it's stereo. This means it's mono. So now you know. Now we've had the battle. And I'll throw those in there as well. So now I have a second input option. So this mixer doesn't like them. But... These are also mono as well, so I can throw these into the mixer. Yep, medical fund. Uh, I have an FH, no, 
I have a... I have a what? I forgot what I have. Is it any? No. Um, I have... I have... Right. Oh, wow. That's a pretty beefy rig, dude. Seriously, that's really beefy. Um, I have... I want to say an FSA. That's the word I was looking for. FSA, so I can go and... Uh, do that stuff pretty easily, but um, uh, honestly, I would love to uh, do a bit more because I, I know I need surgery for my ankle, but uh, that's going to have to wait probably next year. It's been a busy day today. Anyways, uh, so... So yeah, uh, a lot of plugs, a lot of a lot of gender changers here. Um, wink, wink, nod, nod. <laughs> uh, anyways, so oh, that was pretty hardcore getting that in there. And then we can. Oh yeah, absolutely a nice UPS. If you do not have a nice UPS, then you are you are uh, taking. A risk. Okay, so I also I have this here. Let's see what kind of music I have on here. I have no music on here at all. Well, what do I have on here? Good question. Hopefully it's not a lot of porn. Oh. Wow. This is funny. This is actually quite funny. Uh, if you want to see what's on here, let's do this. Let's actually pause the music, and I'm going to do that right now, and I'm going to play this, because honestly, as you can hear that, uh, this is funny that I have actually this in here, so hold on one second. Introduced this show, I said, for you guys, anything, as long as I'm paid in advance. I don't accept checks. <laughs> wow. Thanks. Ah, yes, Tiny Toon Adventures, a fine. The first show. episode of Tiny Toons. Okay, we'll go to the next one because we get the intro. But yeah, it's kind of funny that I had that in here. Oh, uh, wait, that's because it's not live. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can. Oh, you can actually. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's kind of funny that I actually have that on here. Uh, is, is it all just Tiny Toons? I, oh, no, I Freakazoid on here. Uh, oh, my God. A lot of Strong Bad. Oh, my goodness. Let's go to... Oh, wow. A lot of Strong Bad. This is actually it's kind of funny because I haven't opened this iPad up in years. Oh, man. I love Strong Bad. Ooh. What little email never hurt nobody. Except for maybe the cheat. So what do we got here? <laughs> little, uh, dear Strong Bad, I was wondering what CGNU's mascot is and if they have any sports teams. Yeah. Thanks for the info, Ike. Okay. Anyways, so yes. Uh, yeah, Strong Bad emails. Uh, wow, that's that takes me back. Anyways, so yeah, I was just playing around with that, uh, trying to get audio out of it, so uh, I guess that works. So I'll put it up here for the moment, and we'll deal with that later. So that's that. Um, a lot of stuff going on. Anyways, so we can push the mixer back, because I don't need that right now either. We can actually start playing the music again, too. I'm going to just go here. There we go. That's fine. We'll do this. Hopefully it's not too bad because I know I got this cable here sitting uh, because this cable is not long enough. 
Uh, luckily, I got a five footer coming, so that's fine. At least we can get our keyboard back and going so we actually can talk about the topics that we need to talk about. So, let's go to the accountability portion of this show. Uh, let's go to back to the main TV. Hi, everybody. Uh, so, uh, one of the things that we try to do this year, or at least started to do, is talk about um, how I'm trying to improve myself. Now, for you who are new to this channel, you may not know, but I'm a fat bastard. Nah, I shouldn't say that. That's self-deprecating. But I am a very, very heavy. Uh, when I started this journey, I was at 385. And I think that's the number I'm going with, 385. And I uh, started this journey last year, and honestly, I kind of just... I phoned it home last year. I thought, you know, it was just meh. Uh, and I ended the year at, well, I was on 452 at one point, but I gained some of it back. I went to 465. So a net loss of 20 pounds last year. I said enough's enough. I can do a lot better. So that is the key. The key is, I keep looking at myself that way. I don't know why. I just, it's, it's, a, I need a, I need a little tiny monitor here. So I can actually look at myself. Uh, so yes, accountability. Uh, so how do we do this? Well, we do this a few different ways. Uh, as I go and I look back at, um, uh, let's actually go back to the, uh, the view. That's not the view I want. Screen capture. That's the word I'm looking for. Hey, look at that handsome guy. Hey, handsome guy. How are you doing? Uh, so, uh, let's go to, uh, my fitness pal and then I will reveal the, uh, all the scrummy details so far of what's going on with my life. So we will go to food and we'll go to where we were on Thursday, Thursday, pretty much what happened was that I went over my sodium by just a tiny bit. However, I only ate 15, 13 calories, so I had over half my calories left. How cool is that? Uh, yeah, so uh, looking pretty good. I drank enough water. Uh, 65 ounces uh, is my thing. I did about 75, and I'll be honest with you, the reason why, this bad boy here. I drink a lot of water out of this thing, and it's really tasty water too. I need more, I'm almost out. So my goal is to equal amounts of water and soda if I have to have soda. Uh, so that's that. Redneck, you said you're not good enough to stream? Seriously, look at me. I mean, do I look good enough to stream? Mm. <laughs> I snorted. Uh, so yeah, enough about that. So uh, that indeed was Thursday. Let's go to Friday. Friday, no breakfast. I know, I'm supposed to have a breakfast, but I know, I didn't have breakfast. Uh, we actually rushed to go do a doctor thing, so I had a lunch instead. Uh, if you're looking at my lunches, my lunches are around 700 calories. This one is no exception, 773. Uh, that salt content though, not very happy with that. That's a lot of salt. So uh, today we went shopping, and I uh, good news is, is I cleaned up that salt content. Uh, I think uh, the meat that we got is half of that now, so that's a cool thing. Uh, also, uh, I didn't know our bread was that salty. Okay, so, eh. Okay. I really have to clean up that salt content in my lunch. Hopefully the meat will help lower that a bit. Um, uh, that's wrong right now. This is pop chips. That's why. Okay. Well, that's definitely wrong. Anyways, I'm not worried about this. Actually kind of, no, that's right. I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> uh, so yes, uh, Chipotle for dinner. And I know Chipotle is full of salt. I know this was a very salty day, guys. I understand that. And it even got worse because I had some jerky XP today uh, on, on Friday and I made it even worse. So, again, talking 853. 
But look at the positives here. I only ate 1280 of calories, so I had 14 plus. Let's look at yesterday. Had a yummy breakfast. Uh, actually did a very good breakfast, to be honest with you. It was actually pretty good. Uh, salty, though. Uh, that Jenny O bacon is just salty as heck. Uh, and the grits and the pancakes. Well, I mean, again, if I'm watching and trying to get to 2300s or right around there, I'm not doing so bad. Uh, what took me over probably was the lunch Chipotle. Now, I will tell you, this lunch at Chipotle was free. Uh, we were visiting a thing for 1UP on Cancer we're doing in February. And we went to the location and we said to them, Hey, we would love to, uh, you know, kind of catch up, make sure things are okay. And uh, he's like, hey, you want some Chipotle? And I'm like, I want Chipotle. Sure. So, yes. Uh, see, okay, so uh, Precious Toba says... Try to do a pre-made protein shake maybe for breakfast when you're running off. Uh, that has a lot of dairy and I am lactose intolerant. So that's kind of a problem. Uh, I'm thinking of options though. So we'll, we'll kind of work on that. Uh, but I will I will definitely think of better options for breakfast. I really do need to eat breakfast daily. And I, I know that. So if my dietitian is watching, sorry Shelly. You know, I will work on it. So, uh, snacks, 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 siblings, siblings. Okay. I'm not popping. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can hear that echo. It aggravates the crap out of me. Uh, okay. So yeah, raisins and a cliff bar, uh, needed energy, got a cliff bar and I love cliff bars. So, uh, they're not too bad. Honestly. I mean, sugar wise, as you can see, I am doing pretty good. I'm watching my glucose. Let's look at today. Today is yes, no, yes. That is right. I had to think about that for a second. Wait, 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 wait. It's today. Okay. So yeah, uh, I had uh, some leftover brec leftover dinner from a few days ago, and then uh, a Cliff Bar. Uh, it was yummy. Something's not calculated here. In fact, let's do that now. I don't know why it's not calculated. So let's do pretzel crisps. And... That's right. Add to lunch. There we go. Yeah, and look at that. Uh, 330 grams of sodium. I keep looking at sodium. It's like, oh, crap. That's a lot of sodium. Uh, but, again, that's on there. That's fine. That was a pretty beefy lunch. If it's usually 7. It's now 864, so 100 plus more calories. Uh, kind of had... I would say this was kind of more of a breakfast than lunch because I had the snack for lunch, which we had uh, salads from Chipotle. Now, uh... Honestly, for a 300 calorie salad, it was very tasty. A lot of sodium, though. Because of that stupid. They cure all their meat. So. I only have 301 sodium left for today, which kind of sucks. So, with all that in mind, uh, to get to the end of how I'm doing, let's go to reports. Drum roll, please. I am at 449. This is the lowest I've been in a while. Congratulations to me, 449. That means I have this many to go. It's not going to show. Oh, I guess I have to click here. Sorry. I have to click on here. Here we go. I have this many to go. 199. I've lost eight pounds so far since last week. Doing pretty good, people. And of course, if you want to add me, Chris Cool is the profile name, so definitely go and please uh, add me. I'll be your friend on here, and I will work with you uh, as I'm doing that with Sasaya as well, and I'm doing that with um, uh, Flying Wolf. And hey, JJ, 
So, uh, this is actually my dietitian, uh, Shelly. So, that's the reason why she's there. She, she, just wa she just looks. I haven't put anything in here yet, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, broke to 200 mark. I am, I am so excited because, honestly... Uh, I feel like I feel like this is the first time in a long time I'm actually doing all the steps that I need to do to help me control my weight and again being accountable because I want to be here for you guys now obviously I have to encapsulate this section in the future make it a little bit quicker because honestly I can't spend 20 minutes going through what I've eaten the last three days but I just want to share that because it's so exciting to me that uh, that I'm, I'm actually on this journey with you guys it means a lot uh, honestly, so I'm gonna go back to the main TV for a second here. It means a lot that you're with me on this and uh, that you're uh, part of it because I, uh, as you may know, I suffer from anxiety and I think most of most of the world suffers from anxiety if you want to be honest. Uh, but the problem is uh, the anxiety is probably mostly because of how I feel, how I weigh, and my state of mind honestly uh to longevity of my life uh i am very fearful of it cutting short but uh with good exercise and working on eating less i can do it drink a shitload of water i'm also uh using my cpap at night which uh honestly i can actually survive in six hours of sleep without like dying which is wonderful uh, and we're just trying to do better. And so and this is also for you guys. Again, as I stated before, uh, it's for the people who uh, volunteer phone up on cancer. It's for the people who um, don't want to admit they need help and they don't know how to get the help. You know, I, I, I really do feel that uh, this is a wonderful community and you guys make everything awesome. So that's, this is for you guys. I will definitely do that, uh, Tova. I will. I will DM you. You know, catch me on Discord or catch me anywhere. Uh, that's fine. So, uh, as you can see, we've changed a little bit uh, of the layouts of uh, what I do here. As you can see, uh, new logo. Uh, I wanted to do the green screen, but I didn't have time today. So we get my router and we get uh, the printer with everything in on, on it. But uh, I also want to get a new pair of headset because. If I'm going to be using the mic, the professional mic, I really don't need uh, the Logitech. So I, I'm going to have to see if Logitech will send me a good professional headset. Maybe they'll send me a professional mic too. Well, this is actually a pretty good mic. I'll be honest. If I get close to it, it's actually really, really good. If I get like that close. I would actually like it to be a little bit longer. So maybe. I actually have an extension coming for it. So hopefully I can put the extra six inches on so it's a little bit closer to my face. Uh, the key is, is to not be in shot. Ah, okay. Well, I'll see you later, Tova. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Okay. So, uh, what does this mean for you guys? This new setup. Uh, going back here, there's no game at the moment, so it's not going to show anything. But uh, this means that I can do more. So I can actually have consoles here. We can actually do some console uh, teardowns, discussions, and uh, work on uh, giving you more content. Uh, that's, you know, as a retro gamer, it makes sense for me to uh, have that at my helm. Uh, we also have uh, some specials coming up. Uh, like uh, we're looking at doing these things, making custom uh, soda steins uh, and uh, you gotta find them quickly because they're they're not coming back, people. You got um, a GameStop by you? Go grab them before you before they run out. Uh, also, uh, we're doing the retro pie. So the retro pie means you know uh, you can actually go and uh, do all your gaming from your Raspberry Pi. We have that coming up as well. Uh, so, projects like that will definitely be here. Also, uh, intricate builds, solders, and whatnot uh, will be here as well. So, the idea, again, flexibility. Uh, next one here, obviously, is just because 
Handheld is awesome if it's done correctly. My dirty floor. Come on, focus. Focus. Let's see if it'll focus now. There you go. There he is. Hi, buddy. Uh, my uh, paper shredder exploded everywhere, so there's shredded bits everywhere. How you doing, buddy? <gasps> Who's a good boy? Hoisin, hoisin sauce. If I watch him long enough, he'll actually freak out. Watch. He's like, what are you doing? What is the point of this? What is going on? Okay, he's, he's, he's getting ready. He's getting ready. Okay, I, get, I lost him. <laughs> and then there's Sasaya watching me, watching Sasaya. Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, what's going on, sir? What's going on, sir? As you can look at all the mess and stuff from here right now. Anyways, so, uh, yeah, so the handheld camera. I also got some uh, some really cool ones as well. It's like, you know, if you want to do something where uh, we have a close deep dive, I can actually go and, uh, you know, we can look at the uh, different views. So I can actually do this where I actually see the desktop here. I'm actually watching this as we're doing this. And then uh, we can actually go really close as well. Now, of course, this is not the best webcam. But again, it gives you that uh, availability so we actually can see different things going on. And there's, of course, Elton John's last album. What is that gap? I love his music. I don't like the guy, honestly, if that makes any sense at all. Hey, buddy. Let's go back to handheld here and let's say hi to buddy. <gasps> Who's a buddy? <gasps> Who's a buddy? Oh, I know. I love you too, baby. He's my good boy. And he loves butt scratches. Butt scratch. Okay. So let's go back to main TV. Okay. So yeah, uh, some professional video, audio stuff, and uh, we're working. We're working here, people. We're working here. I swear. I know. You're just a good boy. So uh, that's that. So that that you, you now you got the update of that. And I'm also projecting my voice now because it's usually when I talked, I had the little tiny microphone right here. And I was worried about uh, peeking out. But now I got an actually mixer here and I can actually see my levels. I'm not worried about peeking out. So it's nice. It really is. I, I'm not going to lie. It's really good. Retsev, how you doing? Yay. Ooh, Retsev. Okay, so Retsev is, um, uh, she is uh, one of the people that made this new setup uh, possible. Uh, so I want to say hi, Retsev. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, it is pretty cool. So I'm going to show Retsev quickly what's going on. I'm going to use the handheld again. Uh, and then I'm going to show her the new desk. Look at that new desk. Ooh, look at that. How cool is that? The mixer, I bought a mixer as well because I wanted some professional or somewhat professional quality. It actually, this mixer is really cool because it is, uh, you can actually use it and power it by a nine volt battery. That's really cool. Uh, and of course, I bought this a while ago. Redneck 2007. Thank you for following the leader. Well, the leader being me, but thank you for following nonetheless. So there you go. Uh, that's the breakout box that goes into that uh, camera. And then of course, there's a camera above as well. Uh, and each one of these are light poles. We got two light poles that come from behind. So we get actual proper lighting, which I haven't perfected yet. I'm gonna work on that some more uh, to get the lighting a little bit better. Because right now I got some some, um, uh, some darkness around here. It kind of looks like that I'm uh, a creepy soccer guy. So I'm gonna work on that a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, work in progress. It's definitely a work in progress. So uh, I just want to personally thank you for that. Uh, uh, for for helping me get uh, this far. Oh wait 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 wait. I know what that means, Kitty Cat. Come over here. It's Kitty Cat time. Come on, come on. 
I, I know. I saw you over there. Come over here. Come over here. Oh, no, I gotta move some stuff around so she can get up here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, little girl. Here you go. Get it, get it, get it. She's like, it's too messy up there. I'll do it this way. There you go. Hi, little girl. Hi, little girl. Oh, meow. I know. Meow. And we actually can hear a meow now, too. I'm going to do this. Oh. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow. 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 She's like, I have no idea what's going on here. What does this stuff do? I know. Hi. Come over here, though. You're, you're on the wrong side. Over here. Come over here. I know. Hi. You're out of shot, though. I need you in shot. There we go. Meow. Meow. There you go. Be in shot. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to... She's laying on the mixer now. That doesn't help. Okay. Honey, you, can, you can't be over here. You gotta be over here. Mm. I know, little girl. She's like, I don't want to be over there. Lay down. Lay down. There you go. Oh, she's like, I don't know, though. I don't know. There's just so much going on. That cable is in the way. I know. But we're still having kitty cat time, even though. So oh kitty cat God. time is happening. I know. Don't worry. We'll have a clean desk soon, kitty cat, so we can have more kitty cat time. I know. I know it's a little messy. It's okay. Meow, 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 meow. This is Printer Cat, or, well, not really Printer Cat. That's the nickname we came up with her uh, from last year's streams. Uh, guess there's a printer behind me, and she would always be on there. Yes, yes, you are a Printer Cat. This year, we'll just call her Mari, because that's her name. Isn't that right, Mari? She's one of the two kitty cats that we have. Shy being the other one. Oh, look at you. So I'm, I'm looking at my kitty cat. Oh, isn't she cute? Okay, so... So, yeah, Mari is... Um, she's nine, almost ten now. She's still very affectionate. And she's a good girl. Yes, she is. Oh, oh, ear scratches of happiness. Happiness abounds, kitty cat. I know. Oh, there we go. I had to, had to find it for a second here. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> she guarded the printer from Paper Jam. She caused Paper Jams. What are you talking about? Silly. She's the cause of the Paper Jams. Oh, my little girl. Yes, you are. You're my little girl. So yeah. Uh, so this is... This is this is therapy right here. This is really nice. It's to be able to actually have kitty cat time and be able to just, you know, chillax here. I know. You make me so happy, little girl. Uh, sometimes we'll get Shy Shy up here, too. So hopefully we can do that, too. I know. I know. So serious. You're so serious. I do have to admit, though, uh, I really do like how I can uh, fade out the music, fade it in whenever I want, and put it wherever I want. And it sounds good. I mean, uh, I can't wait to bring out the second and third audio uh, channels so I can do that again. I think I'm going to have a next, I'm going to have another audio card coming into here for um, Uh, I'm gonna have an audio card here for HDMI. So when I do HDMI breakouts, I can actually take the audio separately. And then I'm going to have another audio on the computer itself for, uh, like if I wanna do like Skype calls and whatnot, so I can do that. Then I'm gonna have to do some uh, creative Meow, meow, meow. Some creative stuff as well. well. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I know. Oh, my goodness gracious, kitty cat. Why are you so soft? Why are you so soft, little girl? I'll go back here as well. I know. I know. I, oh, <laughs> look at that meow. Yes. Can you meow for me? Can you have a couple meows for me? Meow. 
the sweetest thing. I have the lovers for you. Yes, I do. Yeah. She's like, I love your mixing board. Oh, there you go. Just don't pop me up more. Oh, I know. I know. I'm going to get fur all over my mixing board. Yes, I am. I'm going to get fur all up in it. It's going to be all up on. <laughs> that was mommy. Sorry. Let me move her chair. Oh, he knows. He knows. <laughs> oh, 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 there you go. Come on now. I'm one of the uh, few Twitch streams that actually have kitty cat cam, which is nice. Devoted top down cat show. Oh, with belly scratches to boots. And I do have to admit, though, the quality uh, on this chop down as well is phenomenal. I mean, that color, you can really see the color in her eyes and the color in her fur. Oh, and the happiness, the happiness. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I love you. Yes. So she's not much of a cuddler in bed, like when we go to bed at night. What she'll usually do is she'll um, get a couple of pets and she'll leave. But Shy, on the other hand, my my black tortoise, oh, she, she, if you are in bed, she wants to be there with you. What's going on? What do you see? What's going on? She's like, no, I'm fine. Uh, yes. Have kissies? Thank you for the kissies. I appreciate that. Yes, I will use the kissies to clean up around your eyes. There you go. Because we have to use the kissies for the, for cleaning of the face. Because that's what they're for, right? Yes. That's what all those people are saying. Hey, Rumble Fighter, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, Rhino Q, we're, we're not gaming, honestly, right now. We're doing IRL. As you can see, this is not... Uh, this is not much going on. So, yeah. Um... Mari could pass out right now for sure. Uh, Rumble Fighter, what's going on? How are you doing? We're just having a chill stream right now. Some IRL talking about life and things. So if you have a conversation piece that you want to talk about, um, bring it up, man. I'll we'll, t we'll discuss the shit out of it. I don't mind. I don't have any games planned for tonight. This is just kind of a just a chill session. Thanks, Rhino Q. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I, I like when people stop by and say hi. Oh. So, um, we'll play a game on Tuesday. Tuesday, I believe, we'll do something fun. Uh, we'll actually probably do a console game. That's what we'll do. We'll do a console game on uh, on Tuesday. I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll bring up maybe the Xbox One, which I just finished setting up. And uh, we'll we'll inspect the Xbox One together. On Thursday, it's going to be the SNES. Yes, so we will. We'll bring up the SNES on Thursday, uh, and we'll do that. <laughs> How to boil Kit Kat Street? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's uh, it's cool. I. Uh, just finish eating. Uh, I still have to eat dinner. Society needs to to go and, and make some food stuffs. But hey, I don't mind. Um, I know. Oh, listen to this purr. Hold on. I got to listen to this purr. I know. That's some purr right there. That's some serious purr. I don't know where it's at. Society's like, where is it? I don't know. You want to meow at me? You want to meow to people? Want to say hi to peoples? What I would like to do is have a second mic. Meow. You know what? I do have a second mic, come to think of it. Well, maybe we can mic it up. Uh, Dredzo! We're having a kitty cat stream right now. Looking at my new setup. And uh, we're uh, chatting about anything. Anything and anything. Uh, yes, kitty cat. We're praising you, kitty cat. Meow, meow, meow. 
Uh, and we're just kind of uh, sitting here chilling and discussing life topics and uh, petting kitty cats. This is Mari. Hi, Mari. And she's being a good kitty cat today. She, I think she might be done soon, though. Well, I'm glad to have you on board. If you like what you see, please click on the follow button because we would love for you to follow. Uh, and if you follow, trust me, it'll be a really cool sound, too. Well, well kitty cat, you can't do that. You'll take everything with me. Or with you. She's like sniffing around. I was like, what's going on? Let's go back here. Oh, my. She's going to lay down over there. Huh? <laughs> you lay down over there? I can't pet you. Oh, I know. I know. Meow, I know. I know. There we go. You heard that meow right there. That was kind of a... Why are you moving me? I was enjoying that. There you go. Meow. So, yeah. I know. Oh. Let's see if we can do... Some handheld as well. I got the handheld right here. We'll go here and then we'll do uh, handheld. We'll get the up close kitty cat action. Hi, little girl. Oh, look at you. Yes, look at you. Meow, meow. Meow. Hi. You are perfect. Yes, you are. What we do is we'll do this. We'll do this. So we can have handheld as well as this. Oh, I know. You're in stereo, kitty cat. There you go. <laughs> such a silly girl. She is such a silly girl. Anyways, yeah, I'm still looking for your topics, people. So if you want to talk about something, definitely bring it up. Uh, we're going to be doing this until she'll jump off the desk. Hopefully she does not. Oh, I don't want to see that. Kitty cat, I don't want to see your butts. No butts, kitty cat. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I get the joke, Naruto. Ah, ha, ha, funny. I know. Meow. I know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, somebody needs, somebody, one of the mods needs to go and do, like, hashtag kitty cat time or something on the, on the stream. <laughs> She's all up on that. I know. Hi. Oh. So now, as you can see, I think one cat's fine. If you are being an attentive person uh, with your cat, your cat will be fine because you'll be part of the pack. But uh, honestly, if you're gone a lot, don't get an animal. Uh, I feel really bad when I do a lot of events uh, that nobody's home. So I have like friends who watch our animals. But completely honest, I uh, I definitely feel that uh, <laughs> she's just trying to get comfy. She's like, what's going on? I know. Uh, I definitely feel that if you're available and you have a home for an animal, definitely get one. Cats are low maintenance. You just have to clean the litter box once in a while, uh, every few days. Make sure they have food. Make sure they have water. Make sure they don't overeat. Yada, yada. Oh, 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 kitty cat scratches. Oh, I gotta scratch that ear. Hi. So, yes. Deep cuts are a symbol. Uh, I got a pretty nice one right there from her. A few others from over here. Yeah, I get cut all the time. I get scratched up because I got the laughs. Yes, I do. Yeah, she's the scratcher. I'm not going to lie. She definitely will, will scratch pretty much. So... I'm glad to hear that, uh, Pinch a Loaf. I love your name. Uh, uh, these are rescues as well. Uh, well, there's only one here. Um, that's Mari. Shy's also a rescue. That's her twin sister. And uh, she is lovely. I love both of them to pieces. Um, and uh, I had a cat beforehand. Uh, his name Alistair. He was a rescue. Actually, all of our animals are rescues. I haven't actually bought an animal 
a long time. I don't think I've ever bought an animal. Actually, no, that's not true. I've bought goldfish. I guess they're not animals. They're, they're fish. Now she's like, I don't even want you to look at me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back here. Oh, yeah, you, you, uh, that's declawing the kitty cats. She loves the microphone. Uh, I used to do that as well. Uh, but declawing is kind of like taking their knuckles away. So, oh, wow, she's really just going at that microphone. Uh, it's actually uh, very loose, uh, if you can see here. I actually can put uh, two fingers. So, no, uh, the, um, the ID tag does not hurt my cat at all. Uh, in fact, I do even take them off. And uh, they're quick release, so they don't hurt my cat at all. In fact, here it is right now. She's like, you took it off. You took it off. And that's fine, too. It doesn't hurt cats at all. Uh, same as it doesn't hurt dogs, unless they're really super tight. But... If you can get uh, two fingers in, uh, you are good to go on animals. Uh, but I do want to have identity just in case my cat does escape. This does have phone number on the other side as well. So I'd rather, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Because I walk out the door with my ID, I want her to walk out the door with her ID. Uh, no, my cats are not outside cats on purpose because uh, uh, I had an outdoor cat and um, uh, he would get into everything and my neighbors would be angry and we had to keep him inside. Uh, he was a good kitty cat though. You're just very inquisitive today, aren't you? You sure are. Yeah, I mean, uh, we do... Um, for flea preventative, we do uh, a monthly yummy treat for them. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. That's the dog. For the cats, we have uh, some stuff that uh, we do with them. It's uh, back of the neck. And they just kind of... Yeah, she's being really inquisitive right now. Look at this. I think she found a spot. Oh, nope. Not big enough. <laughs> You're just such a girl, aren't you? You're such a girl. Yes, you are. Yes, I know. Hi. Yeah, I, um, I'm fine, honestly, uh, with my animals. Uh, in fact, I even had rabbits at one point. Uh, my rabbits, uh, because of, uh, how hollow their bones are, you can't actually have a leash on them. But my rabbits weren't going to escape anything anyways. They were actually free range, if you will. Uh, they had a wide open cage with multiple floors. They had a lot of fun. Uh, they lived, uh, one lived, play was 10. One lived till she was eight and the other one's still living today uh, with a friend. Uh, we got Mari and Shy from a friend who moved uh, from an apartment uh, Moved out from one apartment to another one that didn't allow cats. Kind of weird. You hear about dogs, but no, they wouldn't even allow cats. That was kind of weird. I know. Oh, look at you. Yes, you are. Yes. And then we had... We got Buddy, which is uh, our black lab. I see his butt over here, so that means he's right here. Hi, Budro. You can barely see him. It's really dark. There he is right there, though. I call him Budro because that's, you know, um, he he's a redneck dog. He really is. And that's that's what that's what his name would be. That's his full name. But people call him Buddy because, you know, you know, if you're a friend, you're his friend and call him Buddy. But if if you are the law, you have to call him Budro. Budro something or other. I can't think of a really rednecky last name. Sinclair. No, that's not. That's from the dinosaurs. Anyways, so yes. What? No, I don't. Is there a tornado? Is there... 
Okay, well, uh, I was just told that we have a tornado siren going off. So let's go to the weather map, shall we? Uh, we'll actually go back to screen capture right now. Hold on one second, guys. Uh, when I went to uh, Guitar Center, I uh, found out um, it was pretty bad outside. So weather underground. It might not be for us, so let's take a look here. Oh, shit. <laughs> that looks wonderful. Oh, wow. Yeah, we are definitely in a watch area. So um, let's take a look here. One second, guys. I'm in Louisville, Texas. Okay. And what do we have here? Okay. Oh, here we go. That's all I was looking for. Okay. That's fine. Blah, blah, blah. That's flood. Where's that tornado watch? Is that not for here, here? Or is that for up north more? Maybe it's not here. Let's take a look. Let's go back to the main page here. Ah, oh, it thinks I'm in Irving. Well, that's why. Let's see. Maybe maybe it's not here. Okay. Counties include Denton. There is no Denton in here. So we are safe, maybe? No Denton. Okay, we're fine. So it's the Tornado Watch is not for us. That's good news. No, it was just really bad outside when I went out earlier. Not gonna lie, it was pretty crappy. So, that's good news. So, no more kitty cat. I am sad. I do have her collar, though. <laughs> she walked away without her collar. Uh, so, yeah. What else can we talk about? We can talk about... Oh, first off, I'm gonna get a drink. Because I'm starting to dry. We can talk about how Buddy's whining back there. Buddy. Hey, buddy. I think he's scared because of the rain. And it's, it's been thundering outside pretty bad. Hi, sir. Let's go back to handheld. I know. That's what I want. Hi, buddy. Let's go down here. Here we go. Oh, I know. Let's see if I can actually get the image to refocus. There it goes. I know. He's a good boy. This is my black lab. His name is Buddy. And he likes to put scratches. So that's going to happen. Yep. Well, that was it on that one. There we go. That's that's the right camera. Silly dog. He, so what Buddy likes to do is he... <laughs> he's doing it right now. He's shaking my desk so violently right now. Because he's getting butt scratches. I know, you're so happy. You're so happy. Okay, I'm done with butt scratches. So yeah, that's the setup. Three cameras. I know, all right. Um, we'll probably do a second mic on here as well. Uh, and we'll uh, play around. I wanna get a really good close up mic. What I wanna do is I wanna go and get a microphone that will allow me to uh, get the sounds of, uh, like, the kitty cat's purring. That would be nice. Anyways, so let me go and charge this bad boy. There we go. This is probably dead. I need to charge this now, my power bank. I was just charging the, um, uh, the iPod with it. Okay, so back to what we were talking about. So next week on Friday, we're going to go and uh, move some stuff uh, from our house, which is full of one-up stuff, to a new place that we have. It's a, um, what do you want to call it? That place that has things, you know, with the doings of such. The um, storage center, Yes. So until we get an office, we need storage. So that's the reason for that. 
And yes, uh, being from California, I would say tornadoes would scare me too. And earthquakes. Earthquakes would scare the crap out of me. So yeah, I, I can I can definitely understand that. Uh, definitely. So yeah. Uh, and by the way, if my audio levels are pretty bad, let me know. Uh, we live just south of Tornado Alley. Uh, we are... Um, we are in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, so you just go an hour north, you're in Oklahoma. Uh, so, yeah. Um, that's why we, we get concerned when there's erratic weather like this. Uh, especially, you know, in winter time, which is kind of funny because they call this winter. Oh, you live in Arkansas. Okay, well, then you know exactly what I'm talking about then. Yeah, uh, Arkansas, uh, hour and change uh, east from here. So, yeah. So, Ratsev, you don't fear earthquakes? I, I'm just curious because, to me, earthquakes are just, you know, they're always this pound amount of scary. I admit, yeah, uh, it gets really scary. Thank you for the follow, Griffin Flame 21. <laughs> I had my music down. I'm sorry. I probably should have just done this. So you couldn't hear anything. Uh, you couldn't even hear the uh, follower leader. So Griffin Flame 21, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that so much. Uh, it means a lot to me for the follow. So uh, with that, um, yeah, I would say the weather is really weird around here. I'm not, no lie. I mean, seriously, it's... Um, it's concerning because uh, in Ohio, it was, you knew, you knew in Ohio what you were going to get. Uh, snow in the winter, spring, you're going to have maybe some tornadoes, summer, hot, fall, cool, winter, back the same again. Uh, here, it's like Mother Nature, <laughs> Mother Nature has no idea what's going on. You just kind of. Uh, today is going to be cold. Tomorrow is going to be scorching hot. Tomorrow after that? Don't know. I have no idea. So, yeah. Exactly. Somebody said uh, Mother Nature is on the rag. And definitely you can feel it. Uh, like right now, I mean, outside, to be honest with you, it's uh, actually kind of nice out there other than the rain. Uh, it was probably in its 70s uh, or 60s. I don't know. What was What was the weather like? Right now, 65 in Irving. So, I mean, we're talking uh, pretty good weather, but it is kind of scary. Don't get me wrong. Man, where are my mods at? Get my mods in here, man. Okay. Uh, and here comes Sasaya behind me. Hi, Sasaya. I love you. Why? Can't you watch football? Is it sad? Oh, Kansas City Chiefs got it. Okay. So she's going to go watch some football right now. Uh, which I think is playing live right now. Uh, we just had the Cowboys games. I'm curious. How did the Cowboys do? Oh, they lost by three. Mm, well. Uh... Had a look. Had a look. So, I guess we're not going anywhere this year. Um, but I will admit, though, I mean, to be completely honest, I mean, as far as sports teams goes, uh, we have a pretty good sports team here uh, as far as football. Even even um, our baseball team's really good. I mean, I say I mean a lot. I mean, pet, oh, puppy dog. Uh, yeah. Any other topics? I'm again. I'm I'm open for conversation at this moment because it's really we're not doing anything except talking. Yeah, I didn't know sign language when I met my wife. Uh, I I knew um, my ABCs like A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P P <laughs> P uh, Q R S T U V W X Y Z. But that was it. So having a conversation with my wife when before she was my wife uh, was very interesting and long-winded. 
Uh, it was honestly just pencil and paper most of the time. But uh, we got better, obviously. Uh, and I communicate pretty decently. Uh, I, I love her to pieces because uh, when I worked in radio, uh, people would listen to me and they'd be like, oh, you're so, you have such a sexy voice. Well, when I was younger, I had a sexy voice. I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> or, you know, they'd butter me up because they thought, oh, I'm, I guess I made money in radio. I have no idea. Uh, so they want to talk to me and be with me. And she was the only one who didn't give a damn because she couldn't listen to the radio. So she won by default. No, that's not true at all. I love my wife very much. We have a lot of the same common um, uh, common things that's uh, in common, I guess. Listen to that dog. I thought you were supposed to be an omnidirectional mic, Mr. Mike. Why are you picking up that? <laughs> oh, we're professional here. We are definitely professional. Yeah, uh, it's, we actually started bonding about a movie uh, called Man and Moon, which was a Jim Carrey movie uh, back in 97. Uh, I've known my wife for 20 years now maybe a little bit over 20 years so i mean sign language uh is pretty second nature to me but i'm not the best at it she's back anyways yay okay so uh she's also a teacher by the way so if you need to know some asl uh, and you're, you're looking to expand your mind, definitely give her a call. Well, give her a text. <laughs> oh, what else? What else? I do know that I need to move up this uh, camera I'm looking at a little bit higher. Because I want to look right here. Because it's easier to do that than look down here. I guess. Oh, <laughs> no, it's the other way around. She can't hear me nagging her. And, uh, and uh, I have headphones on a lot, so I don't hear her anyways, unless um, she tells me or I, I don't know, but it's funny. Um, my wife's very vocal. She Deaf people do talk, and they can be loud because they don't know the volume of their voice sometimes. Uh, and uh, it, it's funny like that. Anywho. So, yeah, no, I, I love my wife to pieces. She's she's really good, and she she's really nice to me, which is surprising because most people don't have to be nice to me at all. I'll play some music again, get some background in here. Since we don't have kitty cats... So one of the things that I want to do, and I don't know how I'm going to do this yet, is I want to put the uh, the audio from the tweets and stuff on a different mixer. So like, say for instance, are you serious, dog? I think there's somebody here. I think there's a person here. I don't know, but he's like going crazy right now. <laughs> oh man, silly dog. So yeah, I I forgot what I was talking about. Hold on one second.
Oh man, that is a nice feeling to be able to pop my music again. Oh, you won't believe how nice that is. And you. So, I don't know why I did that. That's a force of habit. I'm thinking he wanted to go potty really bad. And that's why Sasai went to handle that. Just my camera's so short. Anyways, so yeah. Um, what else do we want to talk about? Do we want to talk about San Antonio? Do we want to talk about uh, future events? The Matrix? I don't know. <laughs> Movies? Oh, uh, yeah. So yesterday, if you are a subscriber uh, to One Upon Cancer, there we had a really good movie yesterday. Uh, actually, two good movies. Uh, we watched Spaceballs, and before Spaceballs, we watched uh, Star Wars Episode Four. So if you're a subscriber to One Upon Cancer, you get really cool perks like that. And if you missed it, you should have been there. It was good. It was fun. It really was. And we'll have another movie uh, chance coming up next month, so we'll we'll take a look at that too. Yeah, yeah, I, I missed the game. I was uh, doing this setup, making sure everything was ready. So I missed the game um, completely. What's up, you neckbeard? Cash for pickle. Cash? Okay, uh, okay, sure, I'll pay cash for pickles. Uh, I do that at, like, Jimmy John's. Uh, neckbeard. Uh, I guess there's a little bit of beard there, but mostly it's, like, right here. Uh, how am I doing? I'm doing okay. Can't complain too much. Um... Uh, just chilling here, honestly. No lies. <laughs> We're just having conversations here since uh, this is kind of just a, a chill stream, some IRL. Uh, and uh, we'll continue playing games on Tuesday. Uh, We're going to have some fun on the Xbox One. And then I'll be on Tuesday, on Thursday, Throwback Thursday. We will do... What will we do on Thursday? I think it's going to be Game Boy or Super Game Boy. Something like that. We'll do that then. So. I'm trying to see what else. My, my dog is weird. So, uh, I do want to tackle some of this uh, creative stuff too really soon. <laughs> that's the Clevelander and her. Trust me, both her and I being from Cleveland, we hate the Steelers. The Steelers suck. Ah, oh, rabble, rabble, rabble. Anyways. Roethlisberger. So yeah, I what I would really like to do is I would be able like to paint a lot of these. You know, this is my, my go-to can because I'm not drinking it. It's just, it's full of I don't know. It's it's kind of better, but it used to be really like you know crinkled. Um, but I want to, you know, do a lot of these. Um, do some intricate designs on here. Uh, but I like to paint it. I would personally, me, I would love to paint this red, completely red, and then do some gold uh, outlines here on decoration. But I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Poopy face. Anyways, so that's that. We'll put that over here for right now. Okay, so what else can we talk about? I have no idea, honestly. Oh, you know, I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna take a look at something here. I'm actually going to go into um, screen capture here, and then I'm going to go into settings of of OBS because uh, might as well. So one of the things I want to do is I want to start capturing the audio from OBS uh, and then capture it uh, separately so I can, uh, you know, have the music on low but have the tweets and stuff on 
a normal level. And I believe in here, or around here, is a plug and play audio card right here. So if I plug this in here, plug this in here, Well, that was quick. It saw it real quick. And I gotta go, don't use for Skype. And then of course it chooses it, it as the playback devices. Let's go back and put that as, as better. Here we go. Sorry about that guys. That was weird. Okay, so. Uh, now, what I want to do, I want you to want to go into audio here. I would love to find out how to get, oh, I know, I know how I want to do this. I know how I want to do this. I think. Don't quote me on this. Okay, so. I'm gonna stop the music for a second here and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go to options, I'm gonna go to preferences. I'm gonna go to outputs and I'm going to do this. Apply, okay, I'll close. And I'm gonna go and play Casper. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Kind of weird. You hear that hum? Okay, so that's the uh Okay, so that's the audio from the um USB sound card that we just put in there. In fact, let's do this. I'll show you here. We actually go to not that, <laughs> but it works. Uh, if we go to OK here, and we go to um, desktop, you can't see it, but it's right here. I'll bring it up so you can see it though. I think that's click flipping right there. That is actually the other sound card. So uh, now I actually can go, uh, technically I have a couple more sound cards because I have these headsets that come with a sound card by default. But I now can have this as music, this is Windows. That makes life a lot easier too. What I also wanna do is I have another uh, USB breakout that I'll probably do um, a camera on as well. and start, you know, kind of daisy chasing, daisy chaining some of these USB devices together. Anywho. So yeah. So then now I can actually have games play on the default and then I have Winamp specifically for this. Uh, can I do the same thing for, um, Stupid. I'm gonna turn up, turn down the highs on that. I guess I can't. That's fine. I'll keep it right there. That's fine. Okay, so let's go this. I'm gonna go to stupid um, Spotify because I hate Spotify. Okay, so in Stupid Spotify, I'm going to go to Screen Capture again. Uh, let's go to File, let's see, Edit Preferences. That's stupid. I can't actually choose which one I want it to come from. 
I know I can do that in Skype. If I'm in Skype, I can actually go and um, go to options, sounds, oh. audio settings. There we go. Okay, so I can do that. And then uh, speakers can be whatever I choose. I want to choose C Media. Test, test, test. Okay. Oh, great. Uh, we're right next to Dallas County, by the way, so just to let you know. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what else, because this is Skype settings, by the way, so if you want to see what's going on with Skype. Uh, yeah. I started talking about that as well in... Um, Okay, uh, <laughs> everybody's now talking about the uh, the weather in the Twitch Texas Discord chat. They're all like, you know, they're all freaking out as well. So yeah, I can actually go and separate this. But if somebody calls me on, um, uh, somebody calls me on Skype, I need to find a way to, yeah, I saw, yeah. So that's going to be nuts. Yeah, hopefully the weather uh, gets um, get to be okay. Uh, there is, somebody suggested that there is a, um, a tornado right now. That somebody's in Grand Prairie, uh, as you can see here. Uh, and if you want that URL, I'll give that as well. That's the URL for the Texas State uh, Storm Chasers. And uh, so Grand Prairie to Louisville is 37 minutes away. So we are a little bit far away. It's a little bit south from us. So we're pretty good, honestly. But I'm actually going to follow them because they have some good stuff here, it looks like. <laughs> uh, so yes, um, that's actually pretty cool that they have this here. I like that. So they get a follow for me. Okay, so it's about 26 miles away from me. That's good news. Uh, no worries there, guys. We're good. We're safe. We're fine. Uh, anyways, so yeah, open for topics. Let me know what topic you want to talk about. We'll talk about it. Uh, I'm going to put PG rated. So I just want to make sure. Okay. So now if anybody comes in, we're just going to have conversations until we're done. <laughs> Let's take a look and see what else is going on here. Uh, I'm hungry. Nice. I have a replacement XLR coming on Wednesday. Got three tweets now. Holy jeez. I'm getting blown up here. Wow. Actually, they even gave me another link here. Which is... Uh, Texas Storm Chasers... Uh, radar.
So I'm gonna, uh, actually I'm trying to get to there and it's not working, so. I, uh, oh, that's nice. There it goes. Okay, it looks like they're having issues at the moment. It's just slow loading, that's all. Hello. 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 Chavo, 4207, thank you for following the leader. I appreciate that. It means a lot. Uh, as we're progressing through this tornado uh, situation, um, it means a lot to me. <laughs> oh, whoever thought we would go from kitty cast to tornadoes? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. So it looks like that there, there was a few different uh, things going on here, but uh, there was a really good tweet though. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Look at that. Look at the report. 127 degrees. Yeah, that's a tornado. Look at look at that cell right there. That cell right there. That is nuts, guys. And I am up here, so I am pretty well out of that really crappy area that's happening right now. But hopefully you guys are ducking covers. Yeah, it's uh, wind talk blows. I guess <laughs> I, you know, it, it is uh, it is uh, really odd. Uh, you know, again, I mean, I was outside about an hour, uh, two hours ago now, and it wasn't too bad. So, oh, uh, okay. So update here. Very dangerous situation in Grand Prairie. Confirmed tornado earlier near GP. That's uh, George President uh, President George Bush. And now moving northeast to I-30 and Beltline. Uh, so yes, uh, east side of Dallas Fort Worth Airport is possible. So that's kind of uh, scary. To be honest with you. Uh, we are still. Uh, north of the FW airport so again uh, unless something happens we're pretty safe so yeah what else what else can I show oh that's not it I already did that that's fine I can guess we can Keep that open right now, I guess. Uh, Cowboys lost. Let's go back to notifications here. Some nice follows. Thank you for the follows, guys. By the way, if you want to follow me, uh, it is just Kilocon TV uh, right there. Uh, both my uh, Twitch and um, and uh, my Twitter are the same. Pretty easy. You can get on there and see what's going on. I uh, have a conversation. Yeah, this is a windowless room. We're fine. This is why I can report on it. And of course, uh, of course, Kilcon TV. Actually, Kilcon Television. Uh, let's see what's going on. General chat here. Everybody's here. It's on the ground, but north of me now. So you're clear here. Good. Okay. Tyron is. What? Did you think? No, I'm still alive. Oh, oh no, I was just showing. Uh, so I'm just watching the uh, Discord and everything, making sure everybody's okay. Um, yeah, we're good. We're okay. We're okay. Nice being in Louisville. Uh, let's see. What else can we talk about? We'll see what's going on with one up on cancer right now. Uh, not much. We actually have an event coming up on the 20th. Uh, it's an 88 hour long stream. 
And this stream is uh, gonna be pretty cool. It's uh, gonna be run by uh, Liquid Monkey six one nine. You're a cute little birdie because you tweeted at me. I'm guessing. So I'm gonna go find out what you tweeted. <laughs> you retweeted my Chavo forty two oh seven tweet. Thank you for that, Liquid Monkey. I appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, Liquid Monkey. Oh, you follow me? Yes. Thank you for that. I appreciate that a lot. I love these alerts. And plus, that was ripe loud, too, compared to the music. So that worked really well. Uh, and if you're curious how we do this, uh, we do this all in... Um, uh, Streamjar. Streamjar allows me to have all these different uh, overlays and events, uh, and uh, I love it. They're free as well. So, uh, in fact, a little bar at the top there, as you can see, followers. Uh, that's all by Streamjar as well. Uh, again, great, great solution there. Uh, that gives me flexibility, control of everything that I do. Uh, I do uh, also enjoy uh, the, as you can see, the follows and stuff above the TV, as well as when we go back to uh, the name TV, it's there as well. So, I mean, again, it looks good and uh, it's functional. So, uh, the nice thing about it is, is honestly, if we start looking at uh, uh, the different things that I have, they all have the same overlay. Hi, kitty. Meow to you, too. Oh, who's my little girl? Kitty cat cam is awesome. I love this thing. Let's see if we can get a close up with her. Hi, little girl. Oh, she's getting comfy again. She doesn't have a care in the world. I'll put this right here. And we'll just watch her. There we go. There we go. There we go. We'll just keep it like that. This is one of her favorite places to perch, to be honest with you. Right on top of Sasaya's tier. So, we'll chill there for a few while we're, while we're having conversations. <laughs> There's Sasaya, so I'm like, I can't hear you, my computer. No, I can't hear your computer. Are you muted? Good. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> uh, I love this setup. So, uh, Sasaya is watching the game right now uh, with Falji. So, anyways. Oh, such a cute kitty. Again, I'm open for any conversations. Let's talk about anything uh, as long as PG rated. You're not right, Mari. Hi, little girl. Oh, meow. I'm actually petting her right now. She's getting pets. I know. So yeah. Uh, so if you're curious, that TV-ish thing behind Mari is actually a video phone. I think that's a, a ZVRS or is that a Sorensen? I forget. So yeah. <laughs> that's sports ball. Uh, uh, hold on. This reminds me of something. Um, uh, there's, I love the, um, uh, I love the IT crowd. And there is, um, a song clip 
Uh, that is one of my favorites. Um... And I'm gonna see if I can find it. Uh, and I can't find it for the life of me. There's a few of them. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> but, uh... Actually, we probably even turn that down a little bit. It's a little loud. Okay, so here you go. Uh, da, da, da. I'm trying to find one here. Um... I can't find it. Uh, hold on, maybe I can... Um... It's over here. Uh, anyways, so, um... Speaking of football, okay, so you know what? I'm just gonna play the clip, screw it. So, uh, let's go, um, pause the music at the moment. So, let's go actually to here. I wanna show you this. Here you go, Moss. All right, Harry, did you see that ludicrous display last night? What was they thinking, Sandy Walker on early? thing about Arsenal is they always try and walk it in. That is true. See you later, Moss. Well, there you go. <laughs> what was that? What? You were saying football things in a football voice. How do you know about football things? I was this new site. It basically sends you a list of football phrases that you can use in normal conversation. Updated daily. It's great. I only use it so I can say something to the postman. It's got a pronunciation guide or pronunciation guide. Oh. <laughs> See that ludicrous display last night? You can get it sent to your phone so that even when I'm away from my desk, I can still sound like I'm just a big, normal man. 45. <laughs> He's counting staples. So, yeah, uh, I love IT Crowd, so. Uh, so, you didn't see it, but you at least heard the audio. I mean, that's how I feel about football, honestly. Uh, if you haven't seen the IT Crowd, uh, definitely go check it out. They're on Hulu and Netflix, both. So yeah, love that show. Uh, anybody else, conversation-wise, I mean, I'm open for conversation. That's what we're doing here. Think of this as a call-in show where you don't actually call in. At least not yet. I will have that eventually. Actually, I probably could find the cable in my box of cables beside me. I think. Cause I just need a um, tip ring sleeve. Actually, you know what? Let me ask her. Question. You have that blue bag with the camera? Oh, good. The tornado expired. That's good. Okay. Thank you, honey. So, uh, we're fine. Yay, we're fine. Okay. So one of the things that I have, maybe, is a tip ring sleeve. Um, uh, so a tip ring ring sleeve, excuse me. Is there any tip ring ring sleeve cable? Shit. And I don't have one in this camera bag. To her. Thank you, anyways. So, tip ring ring sleeve uh, to uh, to RCA Breakout Three. So, if you want to talk about nuts, I'm about to show you nuts here. We'll get away from Kitty Cat Cam and we'll actually go back to desktop desktop here. Clean this up as best as possible. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, play music again. Okay, so. Oh my goodness. 
So many quarks. So yeah. I might be able to find one in here. And if I can, then we'll use it. And if not, we can at least say we tried. That's a nice doable. So many audio cables. Yeah, this is working in radio for so long. You have so many audio cables. So many patch cables. So yeah, yeah. Buddy, lay down. So, now if my dog will stay, lay down is the question. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. Okay, so this is this is a nice one. This is a good mixer. Trust me, this is as tedious as it looks going through this whole cable box. At one point, these were all nice and sorted. And then I moved. And then once you move, it's not sorted anymore. See any more orange in here? Oh, there's some orange right there. Hold on. Is there any bigger orange in there? So this is not all my cords, obviously. I mean, there's a lot of cords that are uh, not on here that need to be found. Okay, well, fuck it. That's my answer for today. Fuck it. Because honestly, I don't think I'm going to find it. Or find anything I'm looking for. It's, oh, this mic. We'll pull out this mic for right now. Old ass mic. We'll pull this out to play around with it. But we'll pull the rest of these cables back. Anyways, so yeah, um, I haven't played around with this mic in a while, so we'll see how it sounds. It might even have a hum to it or something. I don't know. Oops, sorry. Okay. Uh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on, I'm going to mute myself. Test, test, test. Very bassy, very bassy. Let's see something hot out there. Uh, okay, there we go. There, it's a little better. Meow, 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 meow. Test, 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 test. Oh wow, that is, yeah, uh, it's not bad. Actually, it's not bad at all. Now, if I want to hear purring with this, actually, that might be a bad idea. Let's do this. Let's see if I can get kitty cat meows. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, test test. 
Oh. Oh, test, test, test. Oh, there we go. Okay. I see what's going on. Okay, just making sure I'm okay. Let's change the um, uh, the view here. There we go. You have something to say, kitty cat? You're live. What do you want to say? You want to say meow? Meow? Come on, you're live. Say something. There you go. Thank you for the meow. I appreciate that. That meow brought to you by... Nah, I don't know. Meow Mix. There we go. Brought to you by Meow Mix. Meow Mix. Uh, I have no idea. But yeah, it's nice to actually have a second mic. Thing. I actually have somebody to talk over here and yada, yada, yada. Uh, okay. This is not a very powerful mic, to be honest with you. I had to bump it up as much as I can to get anything out of this mic. But it's not as clean sounding as this, so I don't know. So, I mean, it is it is what it is. It's fine. I don't even know if this is clean sounding. What is my voice anymore? This has more warmth to it. Warmth. Actually, let's see if I can actually go and clean this up a little bit more. Okay. Um, test, test, test. Oh, it's way. Okay. That's a little bit better. Um, right there. And then uh, test, 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 test. There we go. Okay. Test, test. Okay. That sounds flat now. That sounds like it has more sound to it. I don't know. Sorry, tell me. Tell me what this sounds like. I don't know. I can't trust my own ears. This sucks. Okay. So, that sounds too bright to me. Um, there we go. Now, test, test, test. Test, test, test. Okay. That sounds good. I mean, I, I think that sounds good. Okay. I am in the AM radio. Okay, good. Because I want to start labeling these as well. Um, what is, what is what? So if I want to actually go and uh, start categorizing uh, inputs, like uh, actually we'll go back to that desktop view uh, where this one is actually my my normal mic. This would be the uh, the other mic, handheld or what have you, or whatever kind of mic I put in there. Uh, this is going to be Windows PC audio. This is going to be uh, secondary audio. This will be external audio. And then I got 9 and 10, which will be, um, well, you know, what? external audio could be 9 and 10. Because I do have one more audio card that I could bring in here. I do have a creative. But I have to buy two more of these jacks once I have some. Man, I got a lot of inputs here. I got four inputs that I can choose from. It's actually kind of nice. So yeah, this will be external. Actually, I don't even need that because I can bring them in through that. Hey, you know what? I don't even need that. We'll do it this way. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, um, we'll we'll do that. I mean, that'll be kind of the other machine, uh, the other stream. Hold on, I want to take a look at this one. Test, 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 test. Uh, that's not too bad, honestly. Here, I'm gonna try something else. Turn this one off, though. Okay, so yeah, um, that's fine. And if I want to go, do that. Not breaking it. I worry about breaking this. I really do. Okay, that's fine. I think that's just Not the camera view. That's one. Huh. 
Everything is going to pot really quickly here. Hold on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on. Let's do this. Let's take off the windscreen because I'm not using it. Don't need the windscreen right now. Windscreen. We'll just work directly with the mic here. I can do this. There we go. Okay, that may be a little bit better. I test, 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 test. Test, test, test. No, I like that. Try this like this. No, no, no. Well, let's feel a little better though. Okay, test, test, test. Get that out a little bit more. more. Okay, that's might be a little bit too far out though. But hey, that's a that's actually a start, I guess. I might just say F it and get myself a desktop mount or something. Actually, I got a couple desktop ones coming. This was just an option. Dang it. Test, test, test. Okay. Uh, now I'm, I'm hitting the bottom here. I can hear that. So yeah, um, I also have this mic clip that I could possibly just use, but I want, I really do want to keep the, uh, pop filter off, but I might not even need that. Well, I, I do think I would need it with the kitty cat, but what these bottom ones are for. Maybe they snapped out. Oh shit, that was loud. That was crazy loud, people. Not gonna lie, that was actually kind of scary. I'm gonna go back to weather here, take a look at it. One second guys, I'm gonna go back to screen capture. Okay, it looks like there's no warnings for us or anything, but that was just uh, pretty loud, though. So, okay, so for work tomorrow, it should be fine. Wednesday, we'll do this again. Okay, fun. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I was just looking at that. Let's go back here. No real chat going on, people. It's kind of funny. Uh, let me take a look and see what's going on here. Um, okay, so everything looks okay on this front, and there's nothing going on. So for all the people who are watching that are just kind of making sure things are okay, we're fine here. We are absolutely dandy. Uh it sounds like crap outside. Um, so yes, 
Uh, right now, we can talk about anything here. If you have questions, let me know. I will go and answer your questions. And uh, while we're doing that, I'm just going to tinker with my microphone a little bit. Yeah, I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go take a look outside. Gonna lie, it's pretty bad out there, guys. Yes, it's horrible. Okay, so, hmm, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna make this uh, work? I'm gonna do it like this. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have no idea. I need to make sure that I can get this mic going on. Um, I don't want to have a mic in my shot either, and I don't want to have a lot of this echo either. Uh, God, I don't know. Test, test, test. I'm also going to go and see how my levels are. Okay. Everything looks good. And I don't even know how my audio sounds to begin with. I'm be really curious to hear how, how good my audio is. So, uh, I'm actually kind of curious. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go and mute myself, mute both mics. Hold on. So, uh, I'm actually kind of curious. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go and mute myself, mute both mics. Hold on. So, I'm actually kind of curious. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go and mute myself. Mute both mics. Hold on. It's been me, it's been me. Yeah, okay. So, um, oh, yeah. I just looked at it because I heard something. Yeah, it's bad out there too. So uh, another uh, update here. Um, uh, it's pretty windy out there, and we're next to Carrollton and Coppell. Yeah, uh, I was. That's what. That's why I went back to to find out what was going on. So, uh, I want to test something here because the audio levels obviously are not good. Test, test, test. Oh, that might have been it. I had one on pad. So maybe that was the solution. So hold on one second. I'm going to try that again. And we'll go back and see if the problem is the pad issue. So one second. Test, test, test. Yep, that was it. Oh, that might have been it. I had one on pad. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. You're hearing things on one channel. That's fixed now. Okay, good. 
Um, um, test, 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 test. Four. Okay, good. So, yeah, that's on like crap, guys. I don't know why it was like that. So, yeah. Actually, I'm going to even go as far as uh, testing one more thing. Since we're here. Since we're here and uh, I want to see what line level looks like. So I'm going to do this right now. Actually, I'm going to even go as far as uh, testing one more thing. Since we're here. Since we're here and uh, I want to see what line level looks like. So I'm going to do this. That's a pretty crappy line level, to be honest with you. So, let's see what happens. Test, test, test. Four. Test, test. Okay, so I got these all the way down, gains all the way down. Okay, and then we're going to do um, this. Test, 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 test. Test, 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 test. Okay, we'll try that now. Four test test. Okay, so I got these all the way down, gains all the way down. Okay, and then we're gonna do um, this test 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 test. Okay, we'll try that now. Four test. <laughs> I was clipping over myself. Okay, that's fine. Um, so as long as I'm watching my levels here, and I shall pop this up a little bit less. So it's uh, not so bad. Test, 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 test. Oh, I see. That's a pass. It's a complete pass. Okay, so let me do this. Test, test, four. Test. What's the pad do? Well, maybe, hold on. Test, okay. Pad, four. Okay, hold on. Pad. Padme. That's too loud. Way too hot. No padding. Way too hot. Way too hot. I've never really played around with this breakout box before. I'll be honest with you. That's why I'm, 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 I'm trying some stuff. Mm. Hmm. Test. Okay. So I'm in line. Okay. So test, 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 test. Four. And I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Test. Okay. This is fine. What's pad do? Pad. Pad. Okay. I see. Pad. Okay. Uh, pad, pad, okay. That clips too much. That clips too much. Test, 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 test. Okay. Four. Okay, good, good. Okay, that's fine. Four. Okay, good. I think that's about right now. Okay. Sorry for blowing your eardrums out, people. Now I'm going to listen to that now and see how that sounds. Oh, okay, good, good. Okay, that's fine. Oh, okay, good. I think that's about right now. Okay. Sorry for blowing your eardrums out, people. Now I'm going to listen to that now and see how that sounds. It's not fine to me. Okay, good. So then that means that's fine. Um, I think the audio levels are much better. Uh, now the question is, how can I go and um, do this without having the camera on and then... Hold on, let's do this. I'm testing here, hold on. You would think this wouldn't be so heavy, but it is really heavy.
Why is it dropping? Is that a memory situation? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Anyways, so yes, um, microphone, microphone, uh, let's see how that sounds. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, so yes, um, microphone, microphone, sounds fine to me. Okay, good. So, um, desktop camera barely see it and that I can rectify pretty easily and move it just a tiny bit done okay so that's good I mean I just have to have a little bit of care uh, when I'm dealing with this and this cord will be gone I'm gonna put this in here as well so that's fine uh, got this audio cable from the um, speakers and I can move I'll do that quickly we'll use that as a monitor as well as this cable here the one I was pulling out as you can see it's green green as the color snow no <laughs> if your snow is green you should worry hold on one second okay oh wait wrong area want to go in here there's another plug in there i want there it is okay so I want to do a test. I want to do a test on the monitor. That's the monitor. So there's a reason for that because I can go and say, for instance, I want to take monitor or something out for telephone calls. So if somebody calls me, I can go and uh, do a live telephone call. <laughs> Zero, how are you doing? Yay, you're alive. And so, uh, uh, in fact, I don't even have that pumped up, so we couldn't even hear it. But so if we go back to what's on here, I might even like echo myself, get some feedback. So hold on, let's even turn that down. Oh wait, hold on, monitor. Oh, it's the red. Okay, test four. Test, test, there you go. Now you can hear the feedback. Loop over here. Okay, so that's fine. So then what I can do is I can go and start working on what should the people hear. Well, if I am taking audio from, uh, like, say, for instance, a caller on Skype, and I want Skype to hear me, I don't want them to hear that. So I can output that potentially back into... Um, into uh, one of the audio jacks and then now they have a clean filtered audio signal that's an idea uh, I'm hoping the weather's gonna be pretty nice for PAX to be honest with you I'm hoping I can't guarantee anything but uh, at least I'm hoping so uh, zero I want to show you the new setup down here um, as you see this is a desk view obviously this is a new mixer that I got here's a bunch of crazy plugs some keys from Ron Marhofer. Got three of them. Ooh. 
And then, and then, there's much more. Hold on, let me do this. There we go, that's a little bit better. Uh, so actually, the mic's pointing towards me. I think it's pointing towards me. What if I pointed it the other way? What would happen? It would not pick me up at all. It's not supposed to. Good. Right there. There we go. Okay, good. So now it's pointing towards me again. So uh, this is the desk view. The really crazy thing about this desk view, it's going to do some really cool stuff. So this desk view here will allow us to do unboxings and uh, and demonstrations. Yeah, it's, it's about much quieter as well as well as the setup is. So I'm, I'm really pleased about that. Uh, and then uh, we also have, uh, of course, uh, the normal main TV. Hello, how are you doing? I'm looking at the wrong place. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, and then we also have a new camera as well, another one called handheld camera. Right now it's pointing towards Isaiah watching something on TV. I have no idea what she's watching. No idea. Let's see if I can keep it focused on her without it falling off the table. It's not wanting to. It wants to fall off the table. But I get to watch Sasaya as we talk and have a conversation. She's watching something with the IT. Oh, it's an IT commercial. Oh, she's watching the game. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, here, let me show you this up quickly. Okay. So, obviously, you saw the mixer. Uh, there's Elton John over there. There's me. Hello, me. There's all the loot crates. Many of them still need opened. Definitely need opened. There's that camera. And then there's my lighting sources. All of them coming down. Uh, allowing me to, uh, do some stuff. But the key is professional. And this is also Mari's, uh, uh, keychain or necklace, if you will. So, yeah. I think I heard Buddy over there. There he is, hiding. So, yeah, uh, the idea yeah, definitely the idea is to get a much more professional quality uh, set up here. Let's go back to main TV. Yes. Okay, I like the mic right here, actually. Uh, this doesn't sound too bad at all. Uh, and, of course, kitty cat fur everywhere we'll have to start dusting I don't think we'll be able to stream it packs I'll be honest with you because um, it's uh, Pax is going to be an interesting beast uh, the problem gonna be with Pax is is we're not gonna have money uh, internet's gonna cost a lot of money so unless we like chum up with uh, another group not gonna happen. But this is this is now my whole main my whole main setup here. Uh, it'll be cleaned off. I'm gonna have to find a duster or something. Every time we do kitty cat time, it gets dusty. But yeah, this is it. This is this is uh, Retsev helped me set this up. I also have another microphone if I want to do more sexy time. Oh, it's not potted up. Oh, yeah. Sexy time. <laughs> well, I mean, also great for somebody else who wants to come in and say, hi, how you doing? How you doing? Am I a fisherman? No, I do not fish. Uh, actually, I can't even eat fish, to be honest with you. Uh, any prep for packs? Uh, yeah, um, I would say um, look at the schedule. See what you want to attend at Pack South. Uh, if there's something that you would want to go see... Uh, let's start scheduling it out now so we can uh, work around your schedule. Uh, the only things I watch at PAX South, I'll be completely honest, is the Omegathon. I don't watch anything else. So if there's an Omegathon, I'm usually there in front row. Other than that, up to you guys, whatever you want to do. I'll be at the booth most likely. And, uh, and the audio does sound a lot better now that we actually found out what was going on. So, yay for that. Uh, anyways, so yeah, um, if you have any conversation pieces you want to talk about, I mean, I am I am all about that, guys. So, um, I'm going to 
tweaking my audio levels just a little bit just so I can make sure I sound okay. Thank you. Yeah, I need to shave. I'll be honest with you. I definitely need to shave. Um, uh, the issue is I uh, just haven't had a moment to do it. Been so busy, you know, when uh, when you're spending 18 to 20 hours a day getting things ready, it makes things hard to do some of the other cool stuff like shaving. But I will be shaving tonight before bed. <laughs> Anywho, uh, so any any other conversation topics? I mean, I'm open. We under 14, 15, 16, 16 minutes. I have to shave. I, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I work I work for this company here. And I mean, I I guess they're not saying I have to shave, but I mean, honestly, I mean, it just looks better. Oh, I am so excited. I am so excited for you guys because, I mean, Tuesday is going to rock. Uh, Tuesday is definitely going to rock. And then um, we're going to have, on Thursday, if I can find my Game Boy, we'll do some Super Game Boy. I say, I, I shave, uh, I try to shave at least a couple times a month, to be honest with you. And I usually keep it better than this. Uh, wow, look at my nails. God, so dirty. That's been my whole weekend. It's just a bunch of cleaning and prep. So yeah, um, yeah, I, I do, I do admit, imme immediately uh, appreciate uh, this setup here. Um, I'm trying to think of how I can get the rest of the stuff. Assassin, what's going on? Congratulations for being new. Thank you for for coming on here. I appreciate that. I'm gonna go to screen capture here, so we at least see what you guys are seeing here. Uh, and uh, say I'm I'm glad you came on board, Assassin, eight nine zero one two, which I assume is your zip code. Because well, hey, you know that's okay. And welcome to Twitch. And of course, if you follow or host, you have a really funny little image that happens in this little screen here. So uh, definitely do that. Uh, yes, I do want to. Um, Play a game on Xbox. I am an Xbox One noob. Absolute noob. So we'll do that on Tuesday. Oh, you clean metal parts and package them? Wow. Uh, I used to actually work at a metal stamping company called... What the hell was it called? Amherst Metal Products. I had to think about that for a second here. Uh, I worked there for many years. Uh, I worked with packaging, um, but I was more inspection. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. That'll pop up in just a second. It'll do a cool little animation uh, situation. Let's turn the music back up a little bit. Just so it, you know, there's some background music. So uh, I do I do like the uh, stuff that uh, they do over at StreamJar, if you're familiar with StreamJar. Hello. Hello. There it is. Thank you for the follow. Of course, I appreciate that. Uh, I love the uh, animations that I have on here on the TV. And, then, and if I go to the main TV as well here, uh, you can see that they all pop up here. Um, uh, but back to Amherst Metal Products. Uh, yeah, because I used to do QA and uh, with calipers, making sure that metal was uh, stamped correctly. And it was funny. Oh no, your your name's funny actually. To be honest with you. Uh, so yeah, Zero actually works a uh, similar gig than you do. I used to do that back in the day. Uh, so anywho, so yeah, conversation is open for another fifteen minutes. Then I got hello. hello. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. And I've just noticed that those are doing that. So I'm going to do this. There we go. So now, anytime a follower alerts will happen, those icons won't be there anymore. Oops. My favorite game for the Game Boy. Oh, man, that's a good question. I would say it's either a Kirby game or it's going to be... It's going to be funny. Mortal Kombat 2 for the Game Boy. 
Uh, and there's a reason why. It's because I think that was... Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe Link's Awakening. Oh, man. Tetris was good, but Tetris... Everybody says that. Um... Man, there's so many good games. Uh, I'm trying to think of my favorites, though. Oh, that's a good question. Oof. Uh, I would say... Maybe it was Link's Awakening. Probably, I would say. Or, I mean, Pokemon Yellow was fun. Because I had Yellow. I also had the Special Edition Pikachu Yellow Pokemon as well. A uh, Pokemon uh, Game Boy as well. But uh, I would venture to probably say it was probably Link's Awakening more. I remember um, it took me a long time to beat that game. Because I was stuck on level 2. Uh, and uh, I was so happy at the end. Uh, I showed my grandma, uh, who's no longer with us, obviously, uh, the game, and uh, and I beat it, and I was just so happy to show her. Um, and I'm like, why am I hearing an echo? Well, obviously because I have this turned on. S silly me. So let me turn that down. Okay, good. That's a little bit better. I'm like, I have I have the monitor up. So speaking of monitor, monitor. Can you monitor echo echo echo? Those are my monitor speakers now. Yay, monitor speakers! Yeah, I'm, I'm putting all this stuff on one uh, power source so I can turn it off. Like, I don't need the mixer on, the lights on, when I'm not broadcasting. So, I'm turning that off. You got the original green from Japan! Wow! You... You really... Yeah. Do you know how to read Japanese? That's the question. Me? No. Uh, I would probably, I would own, I, if I wanted to play it, I would own the Japanese version, and then I would go and get the ROM with the ROM hack for English. That would be one way to say, hey, I legally own it. I can do whatever I, uh, you can't really say I could do whatever I wish, but you can at least, you know, say, hey, you know, I'm going to, uh, you know, at least understand what game I play. Uh, and of course, uh, in a couple weeks, we're going to do our Retro Pie build. Have I played Crash Bandicoot? Yes, I actually have played Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I own a lot of classic consoles. Uh, I have a Atari 2600 all the way to the PS4, Xbox 4. I'm sorry, Xbox One. Excuse me. Uh, favorite franchise. That's a good one. Um, man, uh, favorite franchise of mine. At the moment, probably I would say Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Country games are funny. I mean, funny. Fun platformers. Um, but that answer changes after a while. It used to be Wolfenstein. The whole Wolfenstein uh, uh, legacy. At one point, it was all of Doom. I know Zero is going to say it's, it's Halo for her. Oh, nice! Uh, PS4 uh, Crash Bandicoot would be fun. To be honest with you, I, I think I would I would definitely buy that. That would be good. So yeah, I mean, it depends. It depends on where I'm at because I mean, at one point I was all about Mario. Actually, I technically never was. I was all about Luigi, and in fact, for my 30, 35th birthday, uh, it was all Luigi. I, I even had a one-up cake. Uh, but uh, now it's more like I, I, I keep switching depending on what franchise I'm playing at the time. Uh, no! <laughs> Society's watching football. No! <laughs> yeah, we did the ball! He missed the ball! Oh no, let's go to handheld and let's take a look at this missed ball. As she's watching the football game live. Look at this. And she's watching me talk about it, too. <laughs> so silly. So, yeah, you, that's that's what's going on right now at the football. If you're curious about the footballs. I wonder if this is considered transmission and I can be sued for it. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay. So, let's go back to uh, my setup here and... I'll just go back to main TV screen. Oh, God, I love this setup. 
oh, I haven't had a setup like this before for uh, for live broadcasting. It's really nice. Uh, you know what's really funny is I want to I want to talk a line of sight. Line of sight is right now where I have everything. It's really odd because the uh, video, my I'm oh, sorry, my monitors are higher up, so I have to look up. To look at things. So if you see, like this is me looking at the left monitor. This is me looking at the right monitor because my camera is so low. Well, I mean, even if my camera was higher, honestly, it still makes me look like I'm looking up in the sky. Yeah, I got a nominate for bed too. I gotta go to bed and I gotta wake up at um, 6.30 for work that starts at eight. Woo, they caught the ball. Woo, they caught the ball. Actually, I, I, I think tomorrow it's at seven o'clock, not eight o'clock, my bad. <laughs> People call it a nine to five. Not me, man. It is definitely not a nine to five. Uh, anywho, so yeah. Uh, you have a wonderful nom and sleep, uh, Zero. Uh, I thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. And Tuesday, we'll play around a little bit. Yeah, that's going to be timed out. Not by me, but one of my mods. Thank you, mod. I appreciate that. Uh, I would not want anybody to eat any of my whatever that person said. And if you didn't see it, then thank God you didn't see it. It was kind of gross. PG rated people, PG. Even though I've dropped an F bomb and said shit many a times, I still want the cop topics, topics to be PG. Cause this is my talk so. Yeah, exactly crap. That's she said what crap. Crapulence. I can clean my glasses too. My glasses are just dirty as heck. I'll just do this. Which is really funny because you can still see my eyes because they're not sunglasses. These are uh, digital 3D glasses, but you know, it's still nice to actually be able. Well, I mean, if you didn't, weren't able to see my eyes, maybe you could, I don't know. Because it's light, it's like, like this. You can still see my eyes. It's probably Sasai. Sasai nabbed that. Oh, it was Red Sev. Oh. I just go like this. Ooh, oh, power flickered. I saw that. I saw that. Yes. Power flickered. That's not good. You know what? Let's go back to um let's go back to the desk uh not the desktop. I'm um, this is desktop. Duh duh duh. Let's go back to screen capture. Let's take a look at the weather. Weather brought to you by Weather Underground. Weather Underground. We love to look at the weather. Some ominous music for the weather reports. Okay. Oh my god, this is actually a little rain song, isn't it? Hold on, I'm gonna turn it up. Hello. 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 Thank you for the follow. I love Hugh Jassel. However, uh, you're still uh, silent for 600 seconds for talking about eating my corfalia. What's the word up for crap? I forget. So, uh, let's see. Weather right now is going to be pretty crappy. Oh, it's just severe weather. Storm warning. That's all. And I knew about that. He just flickered for a second. No worries. Let's see. Anything else going on? Michael Hahn is following me. Thank you, Michael Hahn. I appreciate that as well. Uh, let's go back to here. And uh, we'll go back to me. Here we go. Ah, me. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. <laughs> oh, uh, what is this song's name? I have to get that working again. Uh, my now playing is not working. This is called Rain by Popsky. Yeah, that was, I didn't even pick it. It was random. I swear to goodness that was rain. Uh, random rain. So yeah. Well, I guess what else will we talk about for another four minutes, people? I guess I can wrap it up. Wrap it up for everybody here uh, and discuss what we discussed. No, I'm just dead. Get the ball. Come on. You people and your footballs. Okay. 
So we talked about uh, a few different things here. First off, we talked about Pack South. Pack South is uh, going to be happening. Oh, I got it now. I get your name now. Okay, and I read it too. <laughs> I'm a moron. Okay, so um, that's fine. I don't care. I can easily just as go to here and remove it. Um, so what we talked about is we talked about. Uh, let's see, Pack South. Obviously, Pack South booth one zero zero nine one. Be there or be rectangle. So. Uh, Sounds great, Zero. I will see you tomorrow. Get some sleep, girl. You need sleep. Sleep is is yummy. I'll be there soon. We also talked about weight loss, and uh, I want to definitely talk more about that with you guys. So I'm going to go back to uh, screen capture one more time. And uh, I am down, as you can see. I'm at 449, people. Congratulations to me. Uh, that's the lowest I've been in a while. If you want to work with me uh, and we can lose weight together, I currently have four friends. I just started this last week. I want more. Chris Cool is the profile name. Just go to Chris Cool on My Fitness Pal and then we can talk some more and we can hopefully uh, inspire each other to do some good. Uh, other things I can tell you is. Uh, we have a lot of cool things going on. Again, uh, as you saw, if we go back to uh, me over here. Hello, me. Hi, how you doing? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> it is not just about me, trust me. Uh, me, 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 me. I say me too much. So, also, commercials. Sorry about that. Uh, and, of course, uh, in the new setup. So earlier tonight we had kitty cam and that was on the desktop camera here and the kitty cam is really nice because then it allows me to, uh, it's not really a kitty cam, it's my desktop cam, but we can have kitty cats on here and we can pet kitty cats for a while. It's a really good camera, good solid camera. Uh, and then uh, we also can do a lot of cool stuff like uh, coming up in a few weeks we have, what? Oh yeah, I have because I took it off. The, uh, no. So I need to put it back on. Yeah, Mari's uh, her collar. I need to put it back on her in a little bit. So, uh, anyways, so uh, to discuss again to wrap things up, um, I can show you this. So Raspberry Pi. Uh, this is the one for one up on cancer, but obviously, uh, you know, we'll have. Uh, ones for for us for us to play around with and uh, We can do some really cool unboxings as well um, If you've never seen a Raspberry Pi before we'll take a look at this quickly because I love these things And I just take that off And let's take off the sides too <laughs> The case literally just comes apart like that and then all you gotta do is here's your board that's a Raspberry Pi, people. That's really nice. And then it's got a 64 um, gigabyte drive in there. And this is a whole computer. This is this is an ARM processor. And this one was made where? Some of them are made in China. Some of them are made in England. I'm guessing this one's China. Because I don't see a made in England on here. Anyways, so, yeah, I don't know why I was looking at that. It just kind of caught my eye. Anyways, so uh, we'll be discussing more Raspberry Pi stuff as well um, with the uh, Retro Pi build that we're going to be doing in a few weeks. Uh, also, we're going to have some cool unboxings because uh, we have a lot of different unboxing things uh, from um, indie, uh, indie boxes, we have some arcade boxes, and we have uh, plenty of more fun stuff. So those will be coming up as well. 
Uh, and of course, we also have the handheld camera, which uh, you guys saw. So, you want to see something really cool? I can do this. You can actually see me as you see me, and you can see the camera. <laughs> it is crazy the things that I can do on this thing. So we have three different cameras doing three different things and it allows you to get an inside look on how this works and ServiceNow is awesome. So, so yeah, um, I need, uh, once I actually get everything settled, because this is not the final uh, setup for my, my desk. Holy crap, you're scaring me. Uh, once we actually get the final desk situated, you can actually see the camera up the top there too while we're looking at it. I love this thing. <laughs> Let's just sit here like this. Just like, meh. We'll talk like this for a little bit. Two views of KiloCon. Uh, and we talked about the different things that we're going to do, of course. Uh, and, uh, ew, stop talking about poo people. Thank you, Assassin. I appreciate that. Uh, and, uh, and of course, I'm always looking for topics to discuss as well. So they're really loving this football stuff. You ever notice the conversations are more about the game itself than, um, than actually what we're talking about here. <laughs> Anyways, so, uh, and of course you can catch me. Uh, let's go back to main here. Uh, Kilocon TV. It's both the same. On Twitch as well as Twitter, so uh, you can catch me on there. I uh, hopefully soon will have um, things situated to where we can actually do a bit more. Um, oh, what do I want to say? A bit more organized, if you will. That's probably the better way to say it because right now things are definitely not organized. And again, it's just because of. Um, of uh there's a few things that i need to replace on this setup which will happen this week uh i'm getting they're in the mail right now and then uh and i think i'll be in a better place also uh, this mic is not exactly how i want it to be it's doing the job but it's not situated in the right way that i feel that it could be but i would say it does sound really good and uh the levels are great so list filling Tastes great. Okay. So I think that's it for right now. Of course, I am KiloCon. Uh, you are watching KiloCon TV or uh, KiloCon Television, I guess. Uh, KKTV. Uh, I don't know. I don't have a tagline here, people. Just play around with it. Uh, nice. Uh, virtual reality is a pretty cool topic. I know, uh, personally, Sasaya uh, did kind of rant quickly about v uh, virtual, t virtual TV. And virtual gaming. Uh, Sai wants uh, one of the, um, I forget what it's called, Vive, the HCC Vive. Uh, and she really wants a Vive. And there's a touchdown by Kansas City. Absolutely there was. Hey, look at that. Good job, dudes. Retsev, you actually spoiled it for Sasaya. She was like a couple seconds away. What VR do you have, Assassin? I'm curious. Uh, I, you know, honestly, yes, yes, you are. Yes, good girl. <laughs> I'm way under calories today, I think. I need to eat something. My, my tummy, I can feel my tummy be hungry. Uh... So yeah, I I have I have this. You, you want to talk about the utter least? I'm gonna put my keyboard back. I have this. That is the. <laughs> I I actually I have something that's a little bit better than this, but this is. Uh, this is the Google Paper Cardboard Goggles. I have that. That's exactly what I have. Uh, I need... Yarbroski, how are you doing tonight? Yeah, unfortunately, it is uh, PG... Um, 
So much football talk. Tosia's from Kansas City. That's the reason why. She's all about that. Let's go take a look here um, and see what's going on with that. Let's go back to the handheld cam here. Handheld cam shows the plane review. What was it two points? I don't know. It's all red and stuff. So anyways, um, I have no idea what's going on with that. We'll go back to main screen. Hello, main screen. I need to get those a little bit easier. And uh, such a small room, but man, it makes it a lot easier just to go and maneuver your camera. Uh, but I mean, if you have a time. No! No! So they missed the extra point. It's the extra point. What are we talking no. about? You're just, you're just saying no, but. You know what? I'm going to mic her. What didn't they do? What? What didn't they do? He didn't catch the ball. Why he didn't catch the ball? He picked up his helmet. Why did it bounce off his helmet? I have no idea. He did to do the job of playing. And that was the interview with Sasaya. <laughs> I do live in the United States. I live in Dallas Fort Worth area. Oh my goodness. She is so invested in this game, people. Uh, I love my wife. Uh, that's one of the funny things about my wife and I. Uh, we're, we're competitive gamers too. Like, uh, we got the uh, NES Classic Red Mini kind of dealie. And there was... Um, uh, they tried for two points to tie the game. Oh! I see what you're saying. So, they're down by two. So, uh, we're playing Dr. Mario on the NES Mini, and she's just whomping me. And it's just because that she just really good at the game. I'm not. Don't forget what? Don't forget the world. Oh, yeah. No, I know. Have you played PS2? Yeah, I actually I own a PS2. I own a PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4. Uh, I own the whole Xbox lineage. Um, I own a whole lot of systems. Oh my goodness. My baby right now is probably the Dreamcast, though. I love my Dreamcast. PlayStation 2 games are pretty good. Uh, you know, uh, I'm still mad at the PlayStation 2 for killing Dreamcast. But if you haven't played Dreamcast, you definitely should. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> Quart, actually. That's that's not good. Anyways, so uh, I, I'm trying to think of what else we could talk about before we go for tonight. But I mean, we literally just sat here and rambled for three hours, which is always nice. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's uh, it makes it makes time go quickly, uh, and I appreciate everybody, you know, kind of sticking around. Anyways, uh, and of course, as I mentioned, this is Kilcon Television. Kilocon TV, people! Uh, and I am obviously the Kilocon. Uh, just call me Kilocon, that's fine. Uh, and we are here for you. Uh, you know, honestly, I mean, some people play games and stream because, you know, might as well, right? I am I love entertaining, I really do, so. And I, you know, I worked in, um, you know, broadcasting for so many years. You get used to uh, of just entertaining people. Thank you for saying that, Assassin. I appreciate that. Uh, I try to be fun. I really do. Um, I'm trying to find what else we can talk about. If I think we're about done again. Um, I just, you know. <laughs> it's all okay. Okay. So, sign is KiloCon. It's like KiloCon. Okay. Oh, no, there's no three Ks. It's just Kilocon. 
<laughs> Society is so embarrassed whenever I flash that. Um, have I made games? Well, yeah, actually, I have made games. Uh, if you want to see one of the games I made, I can show you quickly. Let's actually go to... Um, my dog is messing up my mic, uh, my, my mouse. Uh, let me show you this. Go quizzing. Go quizzing. So if we go to Go Quizzing website, which uh, uh, there's a game I made called Quizzing. And Quizzing is a, uh, is a quiz show generator. And how this works is um, it allows you to have people play against each other in a live quiz show. So this is actually what it looks like uh, on the podium view. So this is what the people see. This is what the person like Alex Trebek would see. And you can see who guessed right, who guessed wrong. Here's the question that you read out. And um, question list is here if there was a question. Button checker. So you get some really cool stuff here. Um, and then let's see, this is the game board. This is what people see when they pick a game. This is what the game board looks like when some people have already picked stuff. Here is uh, currently the scores with people and the question that we're going to answer. Um, same thing here, just a different view. Ask the answer is correct. Scoreboard, and then we're back here to this view. I don't have more. I guess that's it on that one. Uh, so we actually did this uh, live at a few different events. And let me show you one that we did in the classroom. This is the classroom. You can see all of them have buzz buzzers and they're buzzing in. And there's teams. So this is um, the team names that they have here and all the questions and the answers they did. And you can see there's Sasaya right there and then she has the game right there. So you can see that's pretty cool. You can see her running that as well. Uh, that's kind of dim, but you can see that she's doing, her point system is different than some other point systems. She's only doing 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Uh, and it's on a projector, so it's still pretty cool. People are learning. Uh, here's another classroom she was using it at as well. And that's the game board. Another room. So there you go. So yeah, I have actually made a game before. Was it hard to make? Yes, absolutely. Very hard to make. Um, because it's... At, when you get to a certain point in development, it's like a stack of cards. You pull one thing out, another thing will fall. You hopefully don't have the whole thing fall down. I do need to uh, redo it. I want to start from scratch. I have some ideas on how I want to redo quizzing. Is that scratch my ear? Uh, and I do want to uh, make it so uh, you can use mobile phones. Kind of like how uh, Jackbox Games does theirs. Where people can just play live. So we can do things on Twitch. So that's the idea for that. And so I have a few friends uh, who I know who are developers. And I think I might work with one of them possibly on building it. That's the key on that. Uh, I have uh, done other uh, games as well that have been quiz show related. But uh, otherwise... Meh, not a whole cackle of a lot. Um, I'm out of water as well. Rat. Uh, wow. Okay, well, I, I, I'm gonna call it for a night. I think we're we're pretty good. We're at three hours now, so. Uh, and of course, you can follow me on Twitter and uh, here, of course. Uh, you see, uh, Kilo Khan TV is the name. It's really easy to find. Uh, and, uh, you've seen my setup, so you know what to expect. Uh, but you expect, uh, if you've never been here before, you can always expect, uh, retro, judged by the TV, uh, and conversation, because I love talking to people. So, 
If I'm not in a chatty mood, just kick my butt. Make me chat. So, that's it. So, thank you very much, everybody, for uh, being cool, being second around for three hours. Thank you, Assassin, again. You you do rock as well. So, uh, thank you very much. And, of course, thank you for enjoying Kilocon Television. You have a nice day, guys.